Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Weekly Midnight Radio. I'm Adli, the host and the owner of this Weekly Midnight Radio program. Through this program, you could learn about various notable games, in my opinion, and then you could also learn about various streamers on Twitch. Pardon for no video for this part. Well, in this episode, the guest is part of a game developer from Canada. This means this is the first episode ever I invited a new guest outside of Twitch streamer, which also means from this point onward, the guest in this show is not exclusively Twitch streamer, but could be various people from all over the world. Yay! This podcast contain highlight from the program which aired live on Twitch every Saturday at 9 p.m. The new episode in this podcast will be available every Monday. Thank you for listening to this podcast, and if you enjoy the content, please consider donating to help me produce more great content in the future. Thank you so much once again. Enjoy the podcast. Welcome back to Weekly Midnight Radio episode 25. Selamat datang kembali di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25. Kita baru saja mendengarkan tiga lagu, tadi ada Alter Ego dari God The Beat, lalu ada Pikabu dari Red Velvet, kemudian ada Night Dancer dari Imase di request oleh Bazelar. So we just listen to three songs, Alter Ego by God The Beat, and then Pikabu by Red Velvet, and then Night Dancer by Imase requested by Bazelar. Now we are going to enter the segment 2, which is chit chat or casual discussion with our guest star for tonight, special, the game developer Samobi Games. She's here. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning. Hello. So, yeah, did you sleep well last night? I did. Thank you. Uh, so, are you awake? Like, fully awake now? No, not at all. I'm at mid-coffee. <laughs> okay. Uh, before I introduce you uh, to our guest star, I guess we are going to watch a clip. So, not a clip. Because, because for tonight the guest star is a, a game developer, so we are going to show you, uh, show you guys a trailer for the latest game, which is Elemental Survivor. A second, yeah. Yeah, that was the trailer for Elemental Survivors. This is their latest game from some of the games. Right, B? Hi. Okay. So, a second, yeah. There we are. Okay. Yeah, uh, there are a few comments in the chat room, but it's Indonesian. I'm going to translate this mm-hmm. to you. That was a cool trailer. Is the BGM, the background music, going to be the same as on the game later on? Do you want to answer this now or later? Sure, I can. Um, we uh, got some excellent music and uh, there are mini discs that you can unlock throughout the game that have the various 
music. And that is one of the pieces, I believe. I, if, it might not be in one of the discs currently, but it will probably be, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I actually got, uh, what is this? I got a sponsor by them to play to play their games a few months ago and I tried their game again this week and they actually have basically three main themes in the game which is the E-pop, I believe? The which? I actually forgot but there are basically three main themes on the game and they are also mm-hmm. have different tracks for each theme, right? Mm-hmm Um, yeah, there's different um, mini discs, like there's EJ pop, there's e pop, and there's like cinematic. There's all sorts of um, categories that the music that we got, and um, there's maybe about 12 to 20 songs per mini disc, and we've got maybe 12 in there right now. Okay, do you, uh, I don't know, do you hire someone to make this music? No, we uh, purchased a uh, an excellent music pack, and we've been in communication with the uh, the composer and um, just getting updates and stuff, and l- letting him know the feedback, which has been very positive. So, yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, before we continue our discussion further, I'm going to uh, remind anyone who is watching and listening to this program right now, if you wanted to ask any question, feel free to use your channel point, just use 99 channel points only to ask any question to our guest star for tonight. But yeah, this uh, chit chat or casual discussion will, will last it only until 11.30 p.m. in my time, which is basically 9.30 a.m. in this time. right yeah yeah okay 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 uh let's continue i'm going to uh enter the first the second segment which is introduction and sneak peek of our of our guest star b do you mind to i don't know introduce your game studio name and your nickname sure. and your yeah. your living area and pronoun and age if you don't mind Yes, for sure. So um, I'm Toby. Um, sometimes I go by the name B or Evil B online, and um, I am she/her, and um, actually <laughs> turning 49 shortly. <laughs> and uh, I know, I know. <laughs> and um, our studio name is Samo B Games, and that came about because, as you can see in the little avatar there. Um, we're big fans of Smoya dogs and um, B because I'm B. <laughs> I've always been a B, so yeah. And we're in um, northern BC, Canada, and it's starting to get pretty cold and starting to do the snow thing. So yeah. Oh, nice! Oh, it's starting to get cold. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it was. Yeah. We had a bit of a cold snap a little while ago, like it was 20 degrees outside one day and the next day it was minus 15, so that's Celsius. And uh, yeah, that that was pretty wild, but now it's about about freezing temp right now. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to continue then. Is there any meaning mm-hmm. behind some of the games aside from this Samo dog? Is it correct? Yeah, yeah, also, that's right. also your it's name, just- B? Yeah, that's it. That's that's where the name came from. Um, we just wanted something cute, and because um, we kind of do cute games, so yeah. I do saw your. There is a GIF on your itch.io page, and I think it's uh, a dog, flying dog with some wings. Is that also yeah. the character? Yeah, that's right. That's our Samoyed with the bee wings. It's very cute. Um, yeah, that's actually. the intro in our other our previous game so yeah ah okay so another question from me is how many people behind the studio so it's me and uh, my wife charlene um i am the programmer slash writer slash business person um and my uh wife charlene is the artist and the game designer oh so basically everything is already in-house Yeah, it, we um, did have somebody um, 
make the music for our previous game and um, they're a wonderful person and um, but otherwise yeah it's just the two of us oh I wanted to ask <laughs> this is pretty funny but your mic filter is gone and it's not sound even clearer than That's before sad. being weird is that better no yeah 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 okay good sorry what did i did i miss everything that i was saying no no no, no. you're okay. okay okay should we continue yeah uh, do you mind to i don't know position your camera a little bit lower mm -hmm. ah okay okay let's continue better? then Ah, uh, I don't know that much about your studio, but I do know you have published a few other games aside from Elemental Survivor. So what games do you focus on developing? So the previous game was um, Princess Farmer, which is a match three visual novel game with um, really very queer um, themes. And it uh, it's very cute. It's very pink. And... Um, we like to really focus on accessibility or at least you know playability and so there's three different modes in that game where you can play fast or you can play thinking or you can do a blend and there's all sorts of accessibility options and um we've started off with elemental survivors thinking you know vampire survivors is so easy to like pick up and play and we wanted um something that was not quite as hard to start and get into and again something that was easy to play like a lot of the games in this genre are going towards dodging and manual aim and all that stuff and we do have manual aim but we also have auto aim so it's very playable i'm not good at playing games so i can play it and my wife is great at playing games and she can play it so we both have fun with it so that's kind of how we figure out the balance for our games is if i can play it and she can play it then then we're good ah <laughs> uh, uh, this is uh, no offense to all people but i believe because you talk about the accessibility you probably i don't know the main focus on developing games for you is probably to make a game that is accessible for people especially for everyone and also people who probably old enough so everyone can enjoy the game that's basically the main focus i guess yeah it's it's approachable you know and it can be played by like princess farmer can be played one-handed like you don't even have to use anything else and um yeah it that was kind of our our goal was just to make something that was really easily approachable okay let's continue uh mm -hmm. this is my next question since when and why do you guys decided to develop games oh that's fun um so uh for my history I actually, I had an Atari 520 ST when I was like 10 years old and I programmed my first game at age 11 and it was called The Adventures of Super Pickle. And I still have that Atari uh, upstairs. I just haven't plugged it in for a long time, but it still exists. And uh, I, I was really, really into games, but my parents wouldn't buy games. So I... I would often just make games on pieces of paper or with a typewriter or something like that. So I've always wanted to do it. And then I just kind of let it go when I um, went to, um, like when I was in high school and university, I just, it was just so heavily focused on guys. It was so like, um, I just did not feel welcome in that space, even though they were kind to me it was condescending and it just i did not feel welcome at all so i gave it up and okay. years later there's all these fantastic tools out there for making games like um like unity is great uh was great and um i actually used game maker and that helped me to get into it and so i'm entirely self-taught i've been doing this since 
2016, I think. 2016, and, seven um, years ago. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And I still feel like a noob. So, <laughs> uh, but I have fun with it. I love it. It's, I, I can't imagine doing anything else. As long as you have fun, so, I guess. Exactly. And for my wife, she was very much into games, very much into comics. And um, back in uh, 2007, she actually was hired as one of the first uh, groups of artists at uh, Disney Club Penguin before it was even bought by Disney. And so she's she was an artist there. She was a, um, a team lead, a producer, and then a game designer. And... Um, while she was there, I was also hired and I was in um, uh, recruitment and administration. So uh, we both worked at Disney, which was a lot of fun. We got to go to Disneyland a few times. So anyways, fast forward 2016, I'm learning Game Maker and we just decided to start making games. And that's just what we want to do. And we've been doing it since. Oh, okay, 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 that's cool. That's pretty long though, but as long as, long as you have fun, it's okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a question from viewer, uh, Trucks Time, asking a question. Did you have any interest to build game in Web3 or crypto NFT game? No. Any reason why? Several reasons why, and uh, it's not of interest to us at all. Mm. Okay, that's probably answering the question from Trucks Time. And my last question in this segment. What engine or mm -hmm. hardware do you use? You did mention a Game Maker. Yeah. Is that the only engine you use for now to make the Elemental Survivor? Right, so I use um, Game Maker, which I really do like. And it just makes sense to me. The objects with the events and the instances, like I just... It, it clicks for me. I have tried Unity and I, I can work in it, but I really prefer Game Maker, especially since we're doing 2D games anyways. Um, it's just, it, it clicks for me. And, uh, but there's so much more to learn. I really need to focus on some learning soon. And uh, my wife, she uses, I don't know how to pronounce it, Asaprite. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And I also, you know, use Google Excel spreadsheets to get data into the game. So, uh, the, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't see any other question from viewer. And <laughs> this is right on the estimated time. We are going to take a break for just a few minutes, I guess. We are going to listen to one song, Porapi Pam by Sonmi. And then we are going to continue with segment three after this one song. Jadi setelah ini kita akan mendengarkan satu lagu dulu ya. Warna pipam dari Sunmi, Sunmi. Kemudian nanti kita akan lanjut ke segmen 3 sebelum akan bertanya-tanya nanti lebih lanjut lagi ke guest kita malam hari ini, B dari Sumobi Games. So ya, yeah, enjoy the next song. <tuh> 